You ever get into a trade and then you kind of get out of it too early? You're sitting there, you're watching your profits go to the moon and you only made 200 bucks when you should have made a thousand. Or even worse, you get out of a trade too late and it's absolutely brutal when you should have gotten out of it in the first place. And then you're stuck watching your account go slowly to zero. Look no further because this indicator is gonna help you get in and out of trades to perfection and save you money most of all. Let's get to it. Okay, we're at the charts and we're gonna get started head first. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is go to tradingview.com. This is what I use for a lot of my trading and it's really what most of the beginners use along the way as well. Now, I do a lot of my trading actually on Thinkorswim. However, I still do a lot of the charting here because I like it when it comes to the usability. It's very easy to demonstrate things. I can save pictures, put them on Twitter, everything like that. And it's just what I've used for so long. So you can use whatever you want. This is what I use for the video. Now, whatever broker you're using, the first thing you do is go to indicate and this is what it's going to be just your EMA and I promise you this is not some get rich quick crazy indicator that works every single time this is just how I'm using it and I'm going to explain it very simply you're going to go to EMA right there and you're going to click on it really quickly to adjust it and the first thing you do is go to inputs we're going to go to make sure it's on nine and then I'm also going to change the color just for this because I always have mine as red I'm going to make it a little bit bigger as well but there's a few things we need to cover before I show you how to use this okay so now that we're getting into this there's a few things we need to know out of the gate to get you started if you watched the previous video going over the initial strategy this is going to be a plug-in right into that however whatever strategy you're using the 9ma will help you find bigger and better exits every single trade so stay with me there's three things you need to know when using the 9 EMA I'm using the 9 EMA for short-term confirmation entries and exits and arguably the biggest of all continuation and this is heavily for scalping and day trading this is not for really longer term swings or anything like that I'll have more videos going into that type of information but I want to get started with the basics of scalping and day trading primarily while you're here when we're going over this time frame you're gonna be using the three and the five minute the five minute is primarily the source of what you're doing all of your trading on the three minute is gonna give you your entry opportunities and give you those alerts to start looking for on the five minute also when you're going into trading anything I don't care if you're forex futures stocks whatever it may be it needs to be a moving stock crypto whatever it cannot be a flat baseline mover that's never something you're going to want to day trade you want something that's going to move up and it's going to move down either way you'll want volatility that's good for you when you're day trading but i think you're ready back to the charts Okay, so we're set back up with the S&P. We're looking at SPY and we're gonna be using the 9EMA. Now, how you're using this is for continuation, finding those entries and those exits. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in the indicator that we had from the previous video, Opens. If you haven't watched that video, the link will be down below. Make sure you check it out because it's gonna help you along the way. So essentially what we're using is price action, right? So just looking at the SPY right now, we have our open up here, but the clear level we can see is right here. You can see we've tested this range one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times over the past two days, and you've been rejected every single time. What does that mean? It's a clear cut resistance, but that's not why we're here. We're here for the entries and we're here to make money on the trade. So when it comes to the S&P, what are we looking for so what I'm gonna use as an example is the close of Thursday going into the open of Friday which was right here so we have two ranges we're watching the top and the bottom so you've had your price action established and now you want to know how do I get in how do I get out because sometimes you're looking at those key levels of getting at this range but you never really had that signal and you might not know what this signal may be what you're looking for is a close below this 9MA. I've made a video before on the 8MA as well. They're both very good. You can use either one. 8MA is going to be a little bit more aggressive, 9MA a little bit more conservative. And over the past few weeks, I've shifted to a more conservative stance for myself. So what we're looking for here is one candle at minimum for an entry. And what does that mean? So you have your 9MA right here as you're curling down. And what are you looking for? This candle right here indicates you might be getting an opportunity. And what am I saying? So you close right here, but this is not a close. What you're looking for is an entire candle close like this. And so what happened is you had a whole candle close and you actually closed the candle right here because it's red. And that means you had a candle close below the 9MA. So what I would be looking for based on this strategy is either a touch that's gonna be your best opportunity. The next touch of that 9MA is your entry opportunity. So you bounced up, 
you touch right there, 367.41, and then you're looking for a push down to whatever your target may be. Now, what I would be looking for here, based on our strategy, is either the daily touch or a previous low touch, which you had right here, which you ended up hitting both and actually riding down deeper. So ultimately, when you're using the nine EMA, what you're looking for for an exit position is when you start to cross back above. So right here, you actually cross above, but this would not be your indicator here, right? So right here, this wasn't your entry opportunity. This candle was actually your indicator, right? So you did have a close below this on this candle, correct? You had that close right there. You can see you started to close right there, but ultimately what we're looking for is an entire candle close. So this is your first initial close, your first entire candle, and that was your entry opportunity. You can enter at the bottom, but you're ultimately looking for a touch of that 9MA. So what happens here? As you come in, you get an entire candle closing right here above at 365, and ultimately this would be your signal if it's time to start getting out of that position, right? So you can either have your target set specifically here or your 9MA to give you a clear cut example. And I'm gonna go more in depth when it comes to continuation and your entries. This is just the beginning. As you're getting into the 9MA, the biggest thing is getting the actual entry opportunity and not rushing your opportunities when you're getting them. Now when I say that, when you're rushing those entries, I mean you're not waiting for a full candle close and that's the biggest issue that I'm seeing because you're gonna wanna actually let the volume and price action start to develop. And as it develops, that's what's gonna give you the winning opportunity and the highest percent chance to win. Now, a lot of strategies out there, a lot of people are rushing entries, rushing in, rushing out. And that's what's creating smaller rewards across the board. The goal with my strategy and everything I'm doing with price action is creating the biggest opportunity for reward with the least amount of risk. And I know everyone says this, but ultimately that's what's happening here. I'm not trying to push for 30 trades a day. That's just not worth it for me. I don't wanna make 30 trades a day and make 15 bucks a trade. Now granted, that's a decent bit of money. However, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to make two, 300 bucks per trade and trade maybe once to twice a day. That's all I really need to do when it comes to my job of day trading and scalping. The 9MA will also control the amount of risk that you're exposing out there because it's going to tell you very quickly when the trend is changing once again. Because you're using the 9MA to spot the trend combined with the price action to find those entries and exits which will ultimately make you a successful trader along the way. But let's break this down a little bit further. Now we're gonna hop back in and I'm gonna show you some more of a conflicting type of trade. And this is where a lot of traders get stumped on. Now you're starting to see you're developing an overall trend back to the upside. So you get back in, you'd be out of that trade from your put position or your short position. And you're kind of chopping back and forth. You come back down, you didn't really get that great of an opportunity. This would have been your entry type of scale right here as you get that full candle close right here. And then what happens is you come back and get a touch of this range right here. But it wasn't that big of a range. You only came back up to locally 367. You would have made a little bit, but it wouldn't have really hit any of those targets because you didn't really get back to previous highs or anything like that. You would have had a pretty tight stop loss. And then again, as you can see, you come back down and get back below the 9MA, which is right here. And this is where I'm talking about of finding those opportunities, right? So when you're getting in here, this is your entry opportunity right here. This is your first close below that 9MA. Yeah, you wicked, but it was still a close below. And then this would have been the opportunity as you get back at the 9MA, boom, you're in it right here and you're able to write it down, hopefully to 364, those lows. Again, this isn't the best caliber trade as you can see, cause you didn't come back down and hit any of those targets. So you would have to really be managing those stops, right? And this is where you can get kind of caught up in some of the chop, if you will. So when you're trading around these lunchtime hours, that's gonna be kind of the most difficult time to trade. So make sure you're finding something that's a good mover. But as you start to get into this, what I wanna express and show people is the actual trend and how good the 9MA is at spotting the trend. So for instance, this is gonna be your opportunity right here. So you finally get a candle close for a full candle right here. You've been battling at the 9MA, you finally get a full candle close above it, and then this is your entry opportunity right here, 365, 38, and then you never get a candle close below. So you're seeing, yeah, you're pushing below, you're coming back up, but you can never hold below that 9MA. What is this showing us? This is showing the trend is still to the upside, Buyers are still grabbing on for control. You're not closing below that level. It's been very close, but the trend is still up. And eventually what happens, you get that breakout right back to our level of 368, 369 roughly.
And if you're looking at what's happening here, yes, you've caught two trades so far in this trading day. We're going to say you've caught this one right here. This is the first good trade. You're in here. You come out way down here, or let's say you were conservative and got out at the daily level there. And then you kind of get into some range of chop around this region here and this region here. But ultimately, you're able to get a winning trade again right here. This is your second winning trade to the upside. And this is going to wipe out any of those potential losses that you may have had on this second trade right here. So if your first winner, loser, your second winner right here, which ends up riding back out again to that trend. And so what's the point is, what am I saying? Yes, you're finding great trades using the strategy combined with price action, but when you have a loser, it's going to be minimal compared to using other strategies. Why? Because the 9MA is going to tell you when to get out very quickly, and it's also going to tell you when the trend is, in fact, bullish. So you're saying you're sitting in a bullish trend because you're never closing below that 9MA. You got very close right here, but ultimately, you continued above and continued rising as you saw the trend going over and over again until eventually you had another close right here, which gave you another indication to get in. You touched that range, and then boom, you came back down to our zone once again of 365.5, 365.7, double bottoming there once again. So it's gonna continuously give you those opportunities as you see here. These are the three biggest takeaways you need to know when using the nine EMA. You need to start combining it with price action. I don't really recommend using the nine EMA alone. I'm not just gonna go into a chart and just have the nine EMA open. That's not gonna be what you want. You wanna use it combined with your price action with any type of strategy that you're already using. I don't care what you're using, but I'm telling you it will amplify your trading tenfold when you combine it with it. Two, we need to start following the trend. Now I see a lot of people, you're, you're scaling down and you're like, this is the bottom, this is the tick, I'm gonna catch it, I'm Warren Buffett. Spoiler alert, you are not Warren Buffett, you're just some guy that's trading at his home. And I know that may sound condescending, but that's who I am too. I'm a guy at home, I don't run my own hedge fund, I am not the best trader in the world. I am trying to find an edge every single day to help me make money along the way. This is an edge. I say all that to say, I'm going to follow what the big money is doing. If the big money is pushing us down, I am not going to go against the trend. I'm going to follow that movement. In the other video, I go over how to spot when the trend changes. So watch that video if you need to. However, the 9MA is solely helping you spot the trend, stay with the trend, and make money on that trend. And then the biggest rule of all, number three, you gotta follow your rules. Know when the trade is over, know when the 9MA is telling you to get out because that is going to be the biggest factor here. You have to know, you are going to lose when it comes to trading, but you have to control those losses and that is what's gonna take you to the next level and keep you profitable month after month.